Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. I apologize uh, for the voice because I lost it. If you can help me find it, that would be great. Now we have the fifth root of 511 and 7 over 2, which is 3.5, right? We're going to be comparing these numbers and our goal is to find which number is larger. So to be able to do this, we're going to be looking at a couple different things and I'll show you something cool at the end. Okay. Now let's start by comparing powers of 7 and 2. And why are we using those numbers? Because of these two guys. But as we proceed, it's going to become more clear why we need that. Powers of 2 are easy to find, right? Start with 2 and then just keep doubling until you can no longer do it. I mean, this would be a really good mental exercise. Anyways, 2 and then 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, so on and so forth. It goes on forever, right? And then the powers of 7, since 7 is bigger and its powers are going to get bigger much faster, uh, it's going to grow much faster. If you think about the exponential function, 2 to the x and 7 to the x, of course, we're only dealing with integers here, but 7 is going to grow much faster, right? You agree with that? Let's see. 7 squared is 49. 7 cubed, I think you should know the first three powers. If you know the first four, that would be awesome. I think I memorized 7 to the fourth power, which is 2,401, which is not too hard to memorize, by the way. But if you multiply this number by 7, you get 7 to the fifth power, which is going to be 16,807. Interesting, right? I don't know why it's interesting, but it looks interesting. It ends in 7, that's probably why, right? Okay, which powers of 7 end in 7? That's going to be another good question. But anyways, that's a number, and why did I stop at that? Because uh, the numbers get too much bigger. So we'll probably find something similar. Maybe we're going to find it here, who knows, right? But if you know powers of 2, you probably realize, or you're going to realize, you're about to realize, ready? If you consider like 2 to the 10th, it's going to be 1024. This is 2 to the 10th, by the way. And then 2048 and 4096. And all of these can be done mentally. Like I said earlier, it's really good exercise. 16,384. Aha, jackpot. We got it. 16,384. Why not 2400, right? I mean, how about this number? We can compare them. But the thing is, these numbers are much closer. Look at that. They're both 16,000. Well, they're not going to be that close. You might be thinking, look at their difference. Don't look at their difference. Look at their ratio. I mean, you can look at their difference, but still divide that difference by one of the numbers because that'll show you the percent increase or percent decrease. And we're going to look at that too. Okay. In addition to another thing that I'm going to show you. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to be using these powers. This is, by the way, 11th, oops, this is going to be the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th power. So this is 2 to the power 14. By the way, don't get me wrong, that's not the, does not equal sign. So let's make sure these two things are equal. All right. And now, and this one was what? 7 to the 5th, 7 to the 4th? It was 7 to the 5th, I think. Great. What do we see? Even though the numbers are pretty close, this one is slightly bigger, larger, greater, whatever. So we can write this as an inequality, right? 7 to the 5th power is greater than 2 to the 14th power because this is 16,800 something. This is 16,300 something. Make sense? Great. That is the critical part that we need to compare first. So does this apply to all numbers? No, there is uh, a different methods for each one. But basically the idea is find out where they get really close. And you can, again, divide or divide the difference. Great. Let's go ahead and make this better. Of course, that gave us a way to compare 7 and 2. But we also need something like this. The fifth root of, are you serious? Yes, I am serious. But guess what? We're going to make it better. So first, I want to work with these two numbers. And then I'll get to the 511, OK? So the first thing I'm going to do is maybe just move these around. Should I? No, not necessarily. You don't need to. So I'm going to go ahead and break down the two 
and write it as 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 9th. Why? Because properties of exponents allow us to express 14 as 5 plus 9, and the property, actually this is not the properties of exponents, it's just arithmetic, right? And properties of exponents allow us to break it down like this, right? Because when you multiply two powers, you add the exponents. Great. But, again, we're going to make it greater. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to the 5th. Because it's a positive term, it's not going to change the inequality. That's important if you're solving inequalities like this one. And if, especially if it's variables, because variables, you don't even know what they are, whether they're positive or negative. Sometimes you do. Anyways, we'll do some inequalities with variables pretty soon. I'm also planning about that. But anyways, that's a different story. Now, the reason why I split up the 5 here is because I want them to have the same power. So I can put it together. Look at that. Now we're going to express it as 7 halves to the 5th power. And this is significant. You know why? Because I have that in my expression. Awesome. Happy face. Great. Let's move on. Now this is greater than 2 to the 9th power, which happens to be what? Remember 2 to the 10th power is 1024. If you divide by 2, you're going to get 512. Or you just memorized it. Who knows? I did. Okay. Great. Now this is st still not the whole thing, right? But one thing to keep in mind is we need 511, but we got so close. Look at that. 512 is greater than 511, right? <laughs> That's nice. Great. So let's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and rewrite this inequality, but this time we're going to include 511. So 7 halves to the fifth power, so 3.5 raised to the fifth power is greater than 512, which is greater than 511. And the transitive property says what? If A is greater than B and B is greater than C, this implies that A is greater than C, right? Any exceptions? Okay, great. Now, this gives us something super nice because now we can compare, great, 7 halves to the fifth power is greater than 511. Beautiful. Now, that's not our goal though. We need the fifth root of 511, but that can be easily achieved. How? By taking the fifth root on both sides, and since both of these quantities are positive, it's good because if you square root, and, by the way, the fifth root doesn't really hurt the negativity, positivity, whatever, the inequality is going to stay the same, but if one of the numbers, or if the radical, or the index was an even number, like taking the fourth root, uh, that could be a little different story. Anyways, here we get 7 halves on the left-hand side because the fives cancel out. So unrigorous. And that's going to give us this number is greater than the radical, which we were trying to compare to, right? Awesome. So that is the answer. We were looking for the larger, greater number. And 7 halves, 3.5 in other words, is a winner. Yay. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple things, shall we? Now, the... the the stuff that I want to show you was from Desmos. I was going to say, well, from Alpha. No, uh, I'm also going to show you something else. But notice that these numbers are pretty close, don't you think? The fifth root of 511, who would know, right, is 3.48 something, and this is 3.5. And this is clearly a winner, right? Now, let's take a look. If you divide these, this is well, from Alpha, by the way. The other one was Desmos. If you divide these numbers, you get something like this. Obviously, this is the greater number. And guess what? This, If you subtract 1 from both sides, you're going to get that the larger number is about this much bigger. Tiny bit, right? Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.